Jamie in Oceanside, California. See more better with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And today is just about the one year anniversary since you got a last pair of Versace's from me. This pair. And now you're getting another pair of Versace's from me. It is the Versace 3218 color GB1, the classic black and gold in the 53 eye sides. So let me take everything out of the original packaging that comes in the Versace gift box. You got the Versace card of authenticity, your international warranty. I love that international warranty like you're going to be in Greenland and I uh, need to, to use that warranty. Your Versace cleaning cloth, your Italian leather hard shell Versace case, and the star of the show, the main attraction, the 3218. It's got the Greco emblem going all the way down the sides with that double, the split bar temple. The Medusa emblem at the temple. Of course, it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it is being shipped from Italy. All Versace's are made in Italy. And of course, I'm gonna put that on there when I ship to you. I'm gonna take it off for now. But just like before, the same temples before, the GB1 is the classic shiny black and gold. Again, it's got the Greco, the, the Versace emblem going down the side, the shapes, the pattern, the geometric shape, as well as the Medusa on each temple. So let me go ahead and begin. Then now, before I forget, this frame comes in two sizes. This is the 53. It comes a little bit larger in the 55. It comes in three colors, black with silver black with gold and then a tortoise with uh i forget what color the tortoise sides are i'll get back to you on that but let me pop out your original demo lenses one of which says versace and of course you're going to get all that and i'm going to put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker before i do i want to barcode scan this barcode into the computer so years from now should you ever need new lenses for this frame i can send them to you using this you are secret agent 738 or as i like to call this is the 738th installment of my 325.7 million <laughs> part series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in america and tonight i'm on i'm on installment 738 so let me go ahead and scan this into the computer make sure you come back and watch all 325.7 million uh videos that i'm gonna put out there so and for some people they can do it twice now this is the Jamie rule. Like I said, he bought a pair of glasses, another pair of Versace's almost to the day. So everyone out there, all the hustlers who got glasses for me before on the anniversary of you buying a pair, come back, get a second pair because my wife needs a new pair of shoes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start that little circle. A little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to scan the or trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Versace frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or check this out, non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. This time, Jamie needs some prescription. Now his pupillary distance is 66. That's 33 for both eyes. The computer starts at 32.5, so I only need to tap this plus button one time. It goes up in half millimeter increments. The computer starts at 19.5. Well, that's literally the geometric center of your frame. That blue cross, if you were to measure vertically and horizontally, that's where that blue cross would be, but your eye is just inset of that, and we're actually gonna raise that up. Let's. Let's raise that up to 22 because your eye is going to be just above that in this frame. So now that the lens is just like the crosshairs of a scope, we measure vertically and horizontally to make sure your prescription is dead center. The optical center is dead center in front of your pupil. So we're going to come down here to the lensometer. Your prescription reads minus 250 in each eye, minus 250, minus 250. Which one's going to be the right? Which one's going to be the left? Which one? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, this will be the first one. I do not need to spin the axis wheel because you have no cylinder, no astigmatism correction. You have the same power for the entire part of this lens. So I just need to put the lens on 250. There's no need to rotate the lens even though you're seeing me doing that. It's the same power all over. Find the geometric center of the frame. And this time I'm only going to put a dot in the center 
because it doesn't matter how the lens is oriented in there. We we'll do the same thing now for the other lens, which normally we would call the left dot dot. But because you have the same power on both eyes, again, which one's the right, which one's the left, which one's the left? All right, someone out there say stop. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I heard it. Okay, that'll be the right lens. So, all I have to do is make sure that black dot is right there in these crosshairs. Put it right there, right there. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick that there. I'm going to minify the screen. You can see the outline of the lens itself. You can see my thumb. Hello, thumb. My index finger. Hello, index finger. And that dot is in there. So that's the outline we'll be cutting. The lens is larger than that. Zoom that back in. We see everything is there. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm sitting here doing stupid stuff. I almost forgot. This is a block, or as I like to call him, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers of which... Come on now. Come on out. I got two right here. One, two and seven. I didn't know there was going to be so much math. The black side is the sticky side on both sides. So I'm going to stick that on the first one, stick that on the platform, stick that on the second one, pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now on the back is a silver button that is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice today. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there. Line that up. Make sure the dot is where it needs to be. Hit the button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto, which is now going to be the right lens. Let's put that there so we know it's the right. Do the same thing now for the unright lens, the lens that ain't right. Just like me, I ain't right. So, line up the magnet. Put the black dot right there. See the black dot moving? Ooh, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Someone hit stop, and it'll... Oh, there it goes. Right there. Into the black hole. The pupillary distance has been mirrored from the right over to the left. Everything stays the same. You're at 66, which is 33 in both eyes. Hit that button. Now it's going to come down and put the block onto the left lens. And let's go ahead and label this one the left because I need to use this pen as a prop. We're going to put an L on there. And for those of you who missed anything, let me recap. <laughs> oh, you know you're getting that joke. I'm not letting you get out of here without that joke. So let's wake up the computer using my finger. I'm going to use the stylus here. There, there we go. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. But we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame anyway. I'm not going to put a safety bevel onto the front convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to put a safety bevel. I could do a light bevel, but you know what? I'm going to do a heavier bevel. Can you see the light bevel, heavy bevel, no bevel? Light, heavy, no. We're going with the heavy bevel. So that is the shape. Again, you are Secret Agent 738, which you see there. And we're going to... Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. So the stylus, which will come out up here. But this is the actual wheel that's going to do most of the work. It's a diamond-crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center, that channel, that little valley, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now I can put the lens in. The magnet's going to do its job the second time today. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. You don't believe me? I will take the chuck off. See that magnet there? It's going to marry itself to the magnet there. Just like that. So let me put the chuck back in there. Or by now you know I don't like to call it the chuck. I call it the Charles because I don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. So go ahead and line that magnet up like you just saw. Hit the green arrow, which is start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape. And then the old carpenter saying, cut, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which I doubt you will have any edge thickness in this frame with your prescription. So the cutting wheel has started up. If you see light flickering in the background, that is water to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the lens from the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, but water will spray onto the lens for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. 
but your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they are virtually unbreakable they are also ballistics grade lenses the same type of material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from flying debris and shrapnel it's also the same material that safety osha at makes in their safety glasses to protect your eyes on factory floors but that's not the, all the protection you get. You also get 100% UVA and UVB protection into the lens as well as a premium scratch coating. We know how light sensitive your skin is where your eyes are eight times more sensitive to the sun than your skin is. So you have permanent sunscreen on, on your eyes unlike lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Oceanside, California. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now, you have not only are they the... When you buy glasses online, let me take one step back. They charge you for prescription, which is no bueno. And then if you want to upgrade to the thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable, bulletproof polycarbonate, they charge you an upgrade fee for that, which is duble no bueno. You get free prescription lenses here. And then if you want the asphere, asphere simply means not spherical. So that means that your lens is flatter curvature to fit in today's flatter curvature frames to give you a better cosmetic look. Plus it gives you a wider field of view. So if you wanted that, they charge you a third time, which is triple no bueno. You get that for free every time you buy a frame from me. So you get free prescription lenses, free thinner and lighter weight lenses, free aspheric curvature lenses with a wider field of view and a better cosmetic look. You get that all for free every time you buy any frame from me. So, but you also have the anti-glare coating, anti-reflection, hydrophobic coating, so water will bead off of this like when you wax your car. So anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. See, now your lens is on the bevel wheel getting the V-shaped bevel. It's no longer flat, so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So as I mentioned, it will reduce glare when driving at night, especially driving at night in the rain. But street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. It goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating, so it reduces reflections. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses, or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you won't see the flash lit up in the lens, or if you take a selfie, you won't see the reflection of the camera in the lens. Now, the other nice thing about the anti-glare, which I should talk about more, it's the only two things you can do to add onto a lens from me, because you're gonna get the thinner, lighter weight aspheric lenses for free. The only two real add-ons I would say that I charge for are transitions that turn dark when you go outside, or the anti-reflective coating. Transitions is a cosmetic feature that turns into sunglasses when exposed to the sun and then returns back to virtually clear inside. Anti-glare is the only thing I can do apart from putting your 2020 lenses in that would literally make you see better. All seeing is, is getting light to the eyes. The more light, the better. That coating will let all the light in while reducing, I mean, while increasing the visual clarity. So it reduces the glare, it lets all the light in while keeping out the harmful glare. So anyone out there considering glasses, think about the upgrade to anti-glare. It does cost $49.99, but you will see so much better. So I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner here using my thumbs pressed down at the nose. It snaps right in. Let's do the same thing now for the left limbs. Flip that over to L. Have the magnet go in there and marry itself against the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucker, the Chucky baby, the Chi Chi, the Sea Rock. The Sea Dog, I'm only making up two of those. The rest of them are real names for this. So we're going to hit the green arrow again. The door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the left side of the frame to minimize edge thickness to know exactly where to place the bevel, of which you've got no edge thickness whatsoever in this frame. That's why I use the thinner, lighter weight lenses because the, the larger the frame, the more tendency with myopia, with far-sighted people to have edge thickness, and you've got none in this frame. Look at that, Jamie. You got nothing. I tell you, you got nothing, no edge thickness. So let's come down here. We're going to take the block off, dry that off with my hand, drop that there, take my sticker, add it to my sticker collection there. 
come down here put it in above that dot and I am getting minus 250 exactly halfway between two and three your prescription minus 250 so the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter spelled d-i-o-p-t-e-r it starts at a quarter and goes up in quarter increments from there 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 and so on you're on the 10th rung of a ladder you need 10 steps of far-sighted correction with your glasses off everything is much too large so for instance this little flashlight would be too large with your glasses off when you put your glasses on, that's why there's a minus sign. It will minify down to the correct size. You can see as if I move this over the flashlight, the background, that should get smaller through the camera viewing it. Your lens is minified to make everything the correct size. So you have no astigmatism correction. So that's why it's called sphere. Your eye is completely spherical, meaning that you have the same power in every direction, even though these are aspheric lenses. You have the same power in every meridian on the lens so if i were to turn it this way which is where i would normally read the the full power of the stigmatism it would read the same thing now as i mentioned you got this frame last year now this frame sells for 245 again this is the versace 3218 color gb1 the classic black and gold in the 53 i size you ordered this frame last year, which is the Versace 4275, again color GB1, the black and gold. Now this is a sunglass frame, some of the nicest styles are sunglasses. So you've seen me do this before, I take the dark lenses out and I put the clear lenses in there. Again, this is still, I probably sell more of these frames with clear lenses than I do with sunglass lenses in them. Of course, again, I probably sell more with transition lenses that look like this inside, but then look like this one outside. So this is what you're wearing now until I shift the others to you. Now the other nice thing, if you like this temple that you get on this clear pair, they make the same frame, well it's not the exact same frame, the same temple on this classic black aviator, Ray-Ban, let me fix that, the wind blew that. Ray-Ban also has the Cats 5000. They have a plastic version of the aviator frame with the hole up top. This is Versace 4312. This one sells, I think for 230 or 235 I'll have to double check this frame sells for 245 this frame sells for 250 so all the Versace's are pretty close but again if you like a classic aviator shape go old school like for Uncle Drew the movie pop these out and have clear lenses in there now this was intended to be clear all along for all you big guys out there or for all you Millennials looking for oversize take a look at this I'll make sure to, that it's on the website tonight it is model number 4312, color GB1 in the 50, excuse me, the 60 eye size. So it is 60 millimeters from the corner of this lens to the corner of this lens. I think this frame only comes in one size, 60 millimeters. You see that there? So for everyone out there who wants a cool looking pair for the summer, this is it. I'm not sure what colors this comes in, probably a black and silver and a black and gold. But for everyone out there, keep that in consideration. So I just opened that door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can crush paper towels with, okay, not my mind, with my hand. So, oops, did that just fall over? It happens to me at my age. It just goes limp like that. Um, I am getting counseling and getting injections, but it's still going to happen. It's embarrassing that y'all have to see that when the camera just plops over like that. So again, I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner, push down, the lens snaps right in there, take the block off, dry it off with my hand. You thought I was going to use a different part. Throw that back in there, add this to the collection. Ah! Uh. <laughs> and for those of you at home who are saying to yourselves, Seymour, which is an awfully strange thing to be saying to yourself when you're saying Seymour. Why? It is now 719 Wednesday, June 13th. And the caffeine has still not worn off yet at 719 p.m. That's right. And I stayed late because I promised Jamie I'd get these shipped today. And I had an employee out sick, so I had to mine the floor. Where that's where those stay. But my word is bond, so I made sure to get these out to him. So I will get these shipped tonight. So Jamie, 
I read, oh, by the way, okay, hang on. I'm skipping stuff. I'm skipping stuff. Let's get back in here. Read the power. Minus 250, exactly halfway between 2 and 3. Your pupillary distance is 66, so which is 33 in each eye from the center of the bridge going outward. 33 millimeters this way, 33 millimeters this way. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens, and we hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 66, so that is made perfectly. Now this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm part of that 80%, but because of that statistic, because four out of five people have one ear that is higher than the other, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them, but I'm going to get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, as I mentioned, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and set them down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I can't see what I'm wearing. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that's right. I'm wearing the Versace 3245, the blue tortoise. That actually is a blue color. This comes in a few colors and a few sizes. The black and silver is the most popular, but you know me, I love my blue. Matches my blue print shirts that I wear. The silver on the side matches my wisdom highlights that I'm starting to get. Let me clean that off, man, I gotta. I'm a metrosexual, so I use a little hair product there. Because here in North Carolina, the humidity is so high, you leave the house, your hair goes boof. So I use a little hair gel and that was getting on there. But anyone who still wants some of these, come see me, the Versace 3245. It's got the same Medusa on the edge of the temple there that you have on yours. So, put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip this over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and that they do. Neither temple is askew like that. So, I field test. Now, I send out a selfie request in every package to have your selfie on the website. So, Jamie, please hook me up. I'd love to have someone send me a picture of rocking these. Now, when you take your selfie, hold the camera just off to the side where you can get a little bit of that side temple going there. But uh, I also send out cleaning instructions, not only to care for your frame and your lenses, but also for your Versace cleaning cloth and the cleaning cloth that I provide, which you're going to like better than your Versace because it's larger and thicker. But I include instructions on how to care for those as well as your Italian leather Versace case so it too will last you for years. Now I field test every cleaning cloth so when you get these in the mail and you see these wrinkles in there, you know that it works. Because I have proven you can clean your glasses with these. So if you like what you've seen or if you don't like it and you like abuse, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. You can follow me on Twitter as FreeRxLenses. If you need to email me, you can email me directly through the Contact Us page on the website. Although there ain't no us, it's just me. Or you can email me directly at FreePrescriptionLenses at gmail.com or simply or you can always leave a question or comment in the comment section below. I'll respond to those. And of course, other people get to read and benefit from your inquisitive nature should you have any questions or comments. But Jamie in Oceanside, California, I appreciate you getting another pair of Versace's almost a year to the day that you got these. So send me a selfie of these and of these, would you? Let people see how they look like on somebody. So again, this is the... I got a smaller flashlight, I just can't find it. Jamie in Oceanside, California. Hope you enjoyed watching as I cut prescription lenses with anti-glare for your Versace 3218, color GB1 in the 53i size. I'm Seymour Better, and now you guys know that's Mo Better, and everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.